Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got eye candy from ESO, an excellent preprint on how climate is controlled geomagnetically, and then they did it. They finally did it. I figured this was too bold even for them, but climatologists have now gone too far. Let's do it all, starting at the last 24 hours on our star where we had an X-class solar flare, again, but once again it was impulsive and did not fire a coronal mass ejection out into space. It did trigger the destabilization of a plasma filament to the south of it. We're going to take a quick peek at that here in 304 angstroms. Post-flare eruptive activity didn't even really erupt, did it? Just a tantrum, then back to sleep. We also have quite a fraction of the disk covered by coronal holes at the moment. Likely solar wind disruptions coming from that here as we head into next week. We'll have eyes open there as well as on the filaments and sunspots. Looking gnarly today. We're off to the ESO where they have been stalking the Sculptor Galaxy. Using about every wavelength they could, they left no stone unturned, creating a thousand color image of the region and covering a wide swath of light from infrared dust to high UV shine, many things in between. Gorgeous, actually. Up next, excellent preprint in your link list today, Earth's climate driven geomagnetically. Now, not only is this pretty standard SO bait here on the internet due to the appropriate causal impactor of climate being identified, but of course we are heading into a geomagnetic excursion, a rapid pole shift on this planet. What do you think explains climate so far and what do you think happens next? Don't answer, I can't hear you anyway, but hear this folks, I never actually thought that they would take it this far. They say the relative response of the ionosphere and thermosphere to solar storms is increasing because of CO2. Oh, the sun's up. They also say the absolute impact drops, which is not what we're actually seeing. We're seeing record high responses to space weather, so who knows what these scientists are smoking. But folks, that previous line. That is them trying to blame the outsized space weather impacts, which are absolutely due to the weakening of Earth's magnetic field, blamed on climate change. Pretty enraging, but not like we can do anything about it, right? Well, what you can do is prepare. That's what, and we'll help you at Observer Ranch. Tons of major events coming, including tomorrow's blacksmithing class. We have pole shift conferences, prepping days, and special events as well. Check out the event list at ObserverRanch.com see the details, and book your stay there as well. But for the experience, the Mind of Steel making event, hit the link below. It's way more in-depth, a multi-day event. Yes, it is too at the ranch, but needs its own site. We're only taking 20 people, only 15 spots left. That link and the ranch link are below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear, be safe everyone.